Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So with the fast approaching end of support later this year in October for Windows 10, I think it goes without saying that after that date of the 14th of October, Windows 10 will still remain in wide use, including in the gaming community. So if you are running an NVIDIA based Windows 10 system and cannot upgrade to Windows 11 or don't want to, I may have good news and NVIDIA has announced in its latest release of the latest game ready driver and if we just head over to that post quickly NVIDIA has announced that it's going to continue supporting Windows 10 for another year into 2026 so here's the support plan for Maxwell, Pascal and Volta architecture GPUs and Windows 10. NVIDIA says, after a final game-ready driver release in October 2025, GeForce GPUs based on Maxwell, Pascal and Volta architectures will transition to receiving quarterly security updates for the next three years through October 2028. Our support lifetime for these GPUs reaches up to 11 years well beyond industry norms carries on to say also we're extending windows 10 game ready driver support for all geforce rtx gpus to october 2026 a year beyond the operating system's end of life to ensure users continue to receive the latest day zero optimizations for new games and apps so this means that games will remain playable on windows 10 for over a year from now up until october 2026 and during this time, as NVIDIA says, the drivers will be fixed, patched and updated, which I think is good news. Now, obviously, at this stage, when October 2026 rolls around, things could start to look a little bit different. And while games and graphics cards will obviously not suddenly stop working, there will be no updates from NVIDIA, which means that performance issues, glitches, security problems and the like will remain unfixed from October 2026 next year. It also means that after the said date next year in October, no new games will be added to the list of supported titles. But I think just giving one year of extended support for those NVIDIA based systems, I think is at least a move in the right direction. And who knows, next year when we get to October 2026, things may be looking totally different to what we discussed in this video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.